Hello, just real quick, I wanted to answer um, a question slash statement um, by an individual um, whose name is Christo930. Um, and Christo is asking about education and libertarianism. Oopsies. Um, saying people can't afford education, or you know, people who can't afford education um, wonder with low wage jobs. And I just really quick want to um, talk about education in a more libertarian perspective. Um, and that is that uh, the new schooling trends as far as um, rethinking about how education is done is unschooling. Um, and the idea is that uh, education um, is completely corrupt, bonkers, and doesn't work in the American system. Why? Um, it's pretty obvious if you... <laughs> have been through it in a public school. Not everybody's learning styles are the same. Um, you can't mass produce uh, information um, and cater to every type of learning style in the classroom and then accept um, less than you know near perfection and pass somebody. In other words, um, the idea that you could have someone who's a C student in high school um, and then they still graduate as much as an A student does um, is ridiculous because it shows that people aren't learning. Um, you know, I think that if you're going to demonstrate competency, you shouldn't be passing anything until you're getting um, near perfect competency. You know, high, high B, A maybe. Um, and so, what uh, what I'm demonstrating with this principle is that American education system just doesn't cater toward developing long term. Um, knowledge and understanding, it doesn't fit everybody's needs. And that's where this idea of removing mandatory education, turning it back um, over privately is more important because um, people need to be able to make free choices about their education. Of course, the common complaint is always going to be, what about people who are poor? How are they going to afford education? How can they send their kids away? The thing is, is it's not, um, education is not uh, just going to be limited to um, putting someone in front of a teacher for, you know, a seven, eight hours a day, or if you do block periods, whatever, across the week. Um, education can be done in increments. It can be done an hour a day. It can be done a little bit later in life because some children are not really ready to take on the subjects until they're, you know, nine or ten. That maybe a fifth, a five or six-year-old might be um, of one, you know, a person as the other. It's just never, nobody is the same. Um, and, you know, as far as expenses go, I think that's even in our system as it is, that's kind of already been shown to just be um, false. Um, anybody can go to a Goodwill store, and if you look at the textbooks, even there are on Amazon, um, textbooks that are you know five years out of print um, are like pennies or dollars, you know, very inexpensive. And the funny thing about them is that um, math and science, you know, the core concepts generally don't change. Um, all these. Uh, Publishing companies that gouge people for money by you know making a couple of changes or a couple of updates and then reprinting and then forcing you to buy the new edition. Um, we you know everybody anybody who's been in college can tell you that scam. Um, but it, what it's, I'm just demonstrating is that it's really not expensive these days to get your hands on learning education materials. Um, and then beyond that, uh, you know if there are certain people who are really poor or you know can't afford you know full um, luxury of teaching, I think that. Programs like Teach for America have already shown that there are people who are willing to educate those in need, um, especially for a low salary if you look at what Teach for America people make, right? Um, so I think that grant scholarships might help fund that, or um, co-ops. Um, I think this has been done a lot with homeschooling. Uh, the thing is, is that you just can't be beholden to, edu you know, you learn by sitting in a classroom for six, seven, eight hours a day. Um, that just is not the only education model, and not everybody is ready to take on the material at the same age. At, nor should they if they're not you know what I mean if you are not getting high marks on all your classes before you pass on to the next quote unquote level I personally don't even think that you should uh, you know graduate to the next level it's silly <laughs> you know what I mean uh, would you really want someone who isn't mastering the material to then go and apply the skills you'd be like no and of course not everybody even then wants to have every skill you know that they're taught in school not everybody wants to necessarily be a scientist. Um, doing biology work or chemistry work. Not everybody wants to be an engineer in mechanical engineering or electrical engineering. Not everybody wants to be a public relations specialist. Not everybody wants to be a doctor or a lawyer. You know, some people have different skills, and I think that there's nothing wrong with um, admitting that maybe some people would just be better off learning what they really love 
or generally interested in. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. And some people want to complain and say, yeah, but that's, you know, uh, going to disadvantage people, you know, make people a disadvantage because, you know, they only have a third or fourth or fifth grade reading level and this or that. But it, it's just silly um, when you think when you think about it um, holistically. Uh, how much, honestly, I mean, anybody who's, you know, somewhere in their late or early to 20s to maybe late 30s um, are already try to see how much you can remember exactly that you learned in the eighth grade from your history books. You know, how much did you can you remember from sixth or seventh grade? I mean, most people, if you ask them, you know, what I mean, I mean, I have a pretty high education level. I can't remember every single thing, you know, and I was and I did very well in in uh, high school. I can't remember every single thing that I learned then, even though I had high marks. I mean. There's just so much that is just lost in the process, and that's the problem, is that people can't recognize those flaws of education and say, hmm, maybe individualized education is best because then the person can focus on their interests, and of course, you know, nothing wrong with getting general background in subjects like science, math, history, English, but some people just need a different pace, a different way of doing it, and the economics of it are just not, it's not this boogeyman like you know, people are going to be pouring on the streets and can't afford anything. I mean, people can learn it. Maybe they're not going to, you know, start at five or six. Maybe, you know, a person is not ready to start their real education until they're 10 or 12 because that's when their mind is mature and ready to be focused, um, you know. I mean, but that's reality, you know. That's 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 reality. You go into public school, you're going to see all these kids who are barely passing. They're barely making it. Yeah, they graduate from high school. Great. They got their diploma. They can barely do basic algebra. They can barely write a sentence without making a grammatical mistake. You know, uh, it's it's uh, it's something that you have to be really open-minded to and, and just think this. There isn't just the typical school system. There is more to education than just classrooms and teachers paid for by the state. Um, so that's my answer to your question: is just to open your mind and think about the bigger picture of ways that things come about and market options and oh also just a quick note um, you know there's lots of educational tools um, that condense materials to the most important points I mean if you go to colleges and you, and you they have some sort of tutoring service for sales where they condense the material I mean that's that's also a way to learn you know maybe someone who's uh, less fortunate might just have the key point outlines you know what I mean like those old uh, you know brain quiz, you know, flashcards or hooked on phonics or something like that. There's nothing wrong with that. If you, if that's, if condensed learning gets you to the point where you need to be, then there's nothing wrong with that. All right. Well, take care, guys, and talk later.